Whew. Okay. So I don't know what I'm going to think of this game. Um, we just had a rather extended conversation on Discord, for those of you who weren't um, in the Discord stream chat um, channel, uh, which I wasn't sure about playing uh, one of these games, because Christine Loves Games had never really seemed like a thing that I would want to play. But Blues generously donated this game to me um, some time ago, and we're not starting Metal Gear Solid this week because I want to make a proper to-do about that since I know there are people who've been waiting for me to stream Metal Gear Solid for years. So instead we are going to try this. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work we've got a backup game in the wings. Um, but we will have fun with our, uh, our weirdo Thursday game in between other Thursday games. What did we just finish? Oh, we just finished Tacoma! Yes, and before that we played... Um, before that, we played, uh, oh, Talos. So robots and AI and technology, which I think there's some overlap here. Maybe there's something technological about this game. So we'll see if this is our theme. And robots, well, I mean, there's like the Metal Gears and Metal Gear Solid. So that's how we're going to like. All right, let's do it. New game. Oh good, we're in like virtual space. Starship Magungwa. That sounds Korean. I'm gonna pronounce everything badly. My apologies. Yes, these are some Korean names. Okay, interesting. Yes, the United Korea Space Probe Agency. All right, good job, Lauren. If you read things out of order, you're gonna pretend to be impressive, but actually not be impressive. All right. Uh, I forgot this chair rolls around. This is one of the last weeks we're going to be with this backdrop ever. I'm moving um, away from Pennsylvania. We'll be back in Texas for a little while and then hopefully wind up in um, Toronto if all goes well. If not, I don't know where we're going to wind up. It's a mystery. Okay, system is property of, well, we're not dealing with cyberpunk corporations yet. Okay, uh, the question is, are we a felon? Wait, hold on. 221,000 days ago? Okay, now there's like... 300 plus days in a year. So that's... Like 90 years ago. I'm making gross generalizations here. I don't really math. Uh, so that's a lot of time. My goodness. Welp. Let's help. Okay, help download. I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to permanently disconnect my session. I got stuff I gotta talk to and stuff like that. Oh, thousand! Thousand years, not hundred years. Nine hundred years. Nine hundred years. I told you, if you guys were here for a conversation that I had earlier this week, I think, about how I took physics and calculus, but arithmetic is my undoing. <laughs> it's for exactly that kind of little logical mis mishap. This is why I should not be in charge of, like, for example, programming very important things. <laughs> All right, so I am a fast reader and a fast typer. 600 years. All right, there's blue glass with the actual arithmetic. That's a long time. Okay, well. All right, disable the current AI personality. Okay. Uh. That's the person who most recently logged in. Okay. <laughs> I had to try. And how, what is that, Nick? What is your joke? Hey, blue. Oh my god. So we have blues, blue glass, and blue. It's a good color. <laughs> and I know 
blues got it from um, the Mega Man universe. I don't know about blue glass and blue 53414 where the origin of the blue is there, but ah, I see Nick as being, a, as being funny and clever in a way that I didn't get, but I get it now. All right. Steven Universe. Oh, <laughs> this is not Steven Universe. Sue. Hmm. Override terminal. Oh, super user. Okay. Well, Super user and Steven Universe are practically the same thing. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Alright. Um. Okay. So I don't have the password. 0451. Is that the thing that is repeated in lots of games and that's why I've seen it before? Because I too have played a video game. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Oh, that's cute, Blue Glass. I like that. Blue Glass makes me think of like Sea Glass, you know? Which is actually super cool. So that's what I always think of when I see your name. Alright, so I want to talk to the currently active AI personality, so I want to quit the override terminal. I don't know why I'm in the override terminal. I want to talk to this person, and then I can go back into the override terminal and change out who it is. So that's what I'm going to do, which may mean that I'm about to make a gross logical error and screw myself over for the entire rest of the game. But I have no interest whatsoever in disabling the AI when I don't even know who the AI is. Unless I have to enable this particular AI, who was the most recent, I guess this person probably like their brain was uploaded after they died, I guess, since it's been 606 years point something. Something. Yes, I remember the password of Tacoma, but it's, was it in another game too? Was it in, um... Stanley. And Gone Home. Okay. Alright, well, we're, then in this case we're gonna do this. Aha! Well, that answers that. Okay, then we're gonna activate. Read the words, Lauren. Ah! Okay, now I can close the terminal. Okay, so I had the right idea, I just hadn't loaded the one person I've got. Man, see, I haven't played System Shock or Bioshock. I'm familiar with them. But I haven't played them because, like, well, if you know me and my comfort with things, it probably isn't a surprise. Goodness. Oh no! This is not good. Hold on, folks. My, uh, microphone cable is a little exposed there, and then it's also exposed there. Right here. It's a really expensive microphone, I don't want to have to replace it also had it for five or six years, so I guess I shouldn't really complain because I've taken it all over the place. But, no, it's not broken. It's just beginning to be exposed. What do you do to prevent these things from getting worse? Like, is there like a tape? Can I put tape around it? Like electrical tape, gaff tape, is that a thing? Maybe I'll do that. Electrical tape, thank you, some triangles. I'll probably get my hands on some of that. All right. Commands again. Okay, well, I'm gonna quit and we're gonna talk to this individual. Okay. Breeds as female. Oh, hey! Oh no! You've been trapped in here for 600 years. Oh my word! Yes, it has been a while. Okay, well. I don't know if everyone is anime or if it's just the, um, like, I don't know whether I would be anime if I were in this universe or if the artificial intelligences are designed as anime. I guess maybe we'll find out. Ella! Ella's not gonna come hang out, okay. Oh man. Okay, so she's doing the glasses character pose. Ah. Okay. 
I apologize that I'm probably going to pronounce names wrong. So if anybody has any hints on pronouncing character names better, I will take them. Um, I'm an astronaut in a Korean space drama. I'm an anime. Perhaps so. So would that be Hyun Egg? Space detective. Reporting for duty. Okay. Okay, so she's aware that it's been a long time and things are bad. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Hoon ah. Hoon ah. I can see that. Okay. It's not a name I've encountered before. Hey, Chrono! <laughs> Honey, that's cute. Ow, oh, Ella's eating over there. Okay. Uh, there's like little like bluey lines that I guess maybe we think are okay. Okay, so it is A. That's clever. <laughs> oh, thank you, Steel and Light. The archive system AI, okay. She just said it was silent, Chrono. It just denotes that she's an AI. Chrono arrived a few minutes late, so he missed that part of the explanation. Yes. Why would you ever say no? Hopefully she doesn't go crazy and is now going to try to murder me or, or, or go all misery to keep me here. That would be no good for anybody. Okay. She did this pretty quickly. Yeah, no, Blue Glass, they definitely put some thought into this. Speak with her. All right. Let us. But we can't type. Right. Helpful notes. Yes. Always start with the helpful notes. Okay. But she was the last user to log in. Huh. Is this an actual, um, idiom? Okay, so she can't read it. Okay. Here, careful blues. Right now I'm just looking around. Hail bride. That's interesting. I like how this character doesn't get a name of their own. He's referred to by his father. And Pale bride is a mystery where she came from. Wow. These people didn't live very long. That's like 20 years right there. That's four years? No. Yes. That's two years. Everybody died in 322. Alright then. 
That's not good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> something catastrophic happened there. Yep. This person doesn't get another name. The f this is the family name. And this is the, this, so this would be their um, given name rather than their family name. Ah. Oh, good goodness. <laughs> Daughters are omitted entirely. Daughters are admitted entirely, so only wives are, or well, I guess mothers are listed. And so they don't get first names. No, no, these are first names. the mom's names, like the women's names are mostly not there. So yeah, everybody in this family tree died all at the same time, including the babies, who were quite young. Okay. What do you have to say about that? Ah. Hey Thunder Jinx! Yeah, I decided against Metal Gear Solid right now because I feel like I should probably have let people know in advance with enough warning <laughs> when we're going to start one of the big games. Um, so we will be starting that next week when I can appropriately prepare everything um, and let everyone know and give everyone the heads up. So that will be coming. <laughs> apologize for the extended delays. But I also haven't had a chance to test out um, emulation yet. So we'll do that. Um, but no, we're doing, uh, we're experimenting with uh, an indie game right now. Um, I might be a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. You don't know that. I don't think I am, though. Although I'm pretty sure that if you get into a tickle fight with Liquid Snake, you win the game. I I think that's, that's how it ends. I think that's how it ends. Oh god, my memories of it are very foggy. Alright, okay, so she's gonna be reminding me of history. <laughs> Thank you, okay, well I'm glad that my memories are completely accurate about Metal Gear. Oh man. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think what she's doing here is, is, is we're looking at something historical and she's reminding me that history is not fair to, to women. Hmm. She clearly doesn't approve. <laughs> Don't worry. We're in this together. Alright. Right. Let's see what she has to say about like everything. Hmm. Why am I investigating this family? I guess I'll find out. Okay, so she just has one thing to say about this entire document. So I can talk to her about this. <laughs> okay, well, she is extremely, extremely submissive and self destructive in the way that she talks and the way her sentences are constructed, so. Chrono, is that a clippy uh, joke? Okay, good. Okay, 
let's save. Okay. Helpful notes. Lock index. Alright. Okay, so this name to me indicates that we've got um, cross-cultural it's gonna stay. I have a feeling it's gonna take a really dark turn, so we'll see. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Chrono, have fun. Um... So this is still a few years, seven years before everybody dies. Hmm. This is too many, this is a lot of people. Oh, I see, okay. ma'am. Oh hey, oh hey, good. She's she's gonna actually give me the context, which is good. Because like right now I've got this stuff, but I don't yet have a why I should care moment, so. Hmm. Major noble families. Hmm. So she only has access to what the Kims had. Okay, so yeah, these people aren't going to be on that because that's a different family and they're unrelated. Okay, there's a second part. Is this a person who's on their family tree? Okay, no. But that might be a last name. Is that a last name or a first name? Asking is because um, 
it's interesting to me because um, if this is the Kim family tree and there are these other names and these are the men, um, then my question here is like, okay, so Jung Soo Kim is here, Jung Soo's son. But the fact that we've got um, the O's here and the Parks here, you know, uh, I find that a little confusing why there are different last names that would indicate that these aren't Kim's. So that's why I'm confused. Um, but I'll figure it out if it's important. So this is people's diary entries. Hmm. Okay, so my mouse has been doing this thing where it double clicks on its own, so. But see, blue glass. The tricky thing is that those are the um, those were the uh, those were the sons because they were in uh, like not written in red ink, which would be the, the women. So that's why it's confusing. Hey, Ampy. I don't know. We're still very early on. But yes, yeah, so my mouse will sometimes double click on its own, which is a thing that I need to probably change the batteries. That is, that is a good uh, put down there. Yes. That's probably not true. Okay, so what... Oh, hey, here's the notes on pronunciation. Okay. I would assume that's Hyun A from the looks of it. Scroll U. That'd be Hyun A. Ah, okay. Okay, so what you're telling me is that these are the daughters of Jung, Jung Su. Jungsu's son, and then these would be Jungsu's daughters, marrying into the Park family and the O family. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Bit of world building here. Middle classes, commoners, and slaves on a space station. So, it's a... It's an interesting culture. Ah, 
okay, there's more. Okay. Hmm. Politics. So I'm wondering whether we are all on the space station, including the Emperor. So here comes the fall is, in fact, Kung's Okay. So this is that same person. Like they almost sound a little bit like Valley Girls. her so she was at some point married no yeah she can't have well no because if you look at this this kid is like six years old oh they're not married okay these are so this is Jungsu's son and yeah so she's another daughter yeah I got it so the pluses show who's married to whom so yeah, they're siblings. Okay, so he has a very young son who did not live very long. Oh wow, huh? The son died before the events of 322. The son died right before, like the year before we first start seeing notes. Okay, so the Pale Bride was a daughter from the Kim family who is perfect given uh, given to the emperor to be a wife or given to the emperor's son to be a wife I don't know okay. do anything to say here no don't okay well well She deleted it, but I'm still remembering it. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay, 
there's their son. Child half my age. Yeah, so when I was 16, there's a child half my age, which is the kid that we just figured out died when he was seven or so. This kid takes his role very seriously. Okay. Alright, kid. Alright, so here's this. This is the one right here that we're looking at. So this is the main line right over here. This is when they're talking about the main line. Is that what they're talking about? Is it his uncle, or is this an entirely different family tree? Yeah, because this is the son that died, and his father died not long after. But then he got adopted into this family. Okay. He did eventually get married to somebody who was quite young. 18? My arithmetic is not very good. This has been previously discussed. So he was 26 and she was 18 when they got married? No. When they... When she died. Hold on. They must have just... No. Oh gosh. I'm just... No. I'm gonna just stop. Right there. Alright, what do you have to say about this? Okay. Yeah, he got adopted into the main family, which... So this... Is the main family that you're saying? I don't think you'll find her very interesting. I really don't understand her standards or anything. I'm not sure what she thinks we're trying to do here, but I'm not sure what we're trying to do here. Okay. So, I, but I think that this is him, and I think that this is the main line. And I think he got adopted by his uncle. Because this is the child that they were talking about. I could be mistaken. Don't have a lot to go off of right now. Alright, here's his wife. <laughs> well, that's cute. He's very interesting. We don't know yet, Moth Dude. We know literally nothing about who we are or what we're doing here. We just know that we're at this place. As far as I can tell, anyway. Maybe I missed something at the very beginning. Um, but we, like, logged into the computer and there's an AI. Okay, so this guy, Young Siok. Siok. He seems to be the best dude. I'm hereby declaring him our, our hero of the hour. Because he values his wife's contributions. She's clearly extremely clever. Learned to read and do math. Yes, no, I do know that it's far future. What do you have to say about her? Ah, okay. Hmm. 
That's good to know. Okay, so this is kind of chastising me for making assumptions based on my own cultural uh, background, I suppose. So, reading another... Okay, here we go. Reading another culture's um, like semi-historical information um, and making assumptions based on one's own cultural historical norms. Okay, so she's 15. Well, she was 18 when she died, so they'd been married for about th four years, I think. So they've done their, they've had the first year of their marriage. Okay. <laughs> That's the wrong form of the word lad. It should be L-E-D. Hello, I'm a proofreader. The fact that he hasn't actually been to this fancy pants place. Hmm. <laughs> if this sounds indulgent, it absolutely is. He doesn't want to make people jealous. Since I'm good at that. Yes, no, this is this is good this is good news for our, our hero. Again, wrong form of the word lad, I'm sorry folks. got his position. Was it? Because here he led the other way, not instead he lead the other way, which is what it says right now. And I think, let's see, ah, and here we have the year that everyone dies. <laughs> yeah, but the, the corridors lead to the plaza, but... new bride. Uh, Smith. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, so Smith was, was that the one that they were? No, he's not a farmer. one of those things that makes me interested culturally kissing your wife for the first time 
Like, so they decided they weren't going to try for a child, so. Yes, I want to know what you think. This is, this is the incorrect, uh, tense. What did she say? See, notice that every single other verb in this section is in the past tense, and given that she used the wrong tense of lead, or the wrong spelling for lead in the immediately preceding area. I'm going to say that that's just a, a grammatical issue that the writer did not think about consistently. Um, but yeah, no, it is the that was the same date. So who was? It does seem like it would be awfully exhausting to um, not actually be able to be like, oh good, it puts it in chronological order. So, presumably this is when everything falls apart. Okay, here's a new person we don't know. Oh dear. Second wife, okay. I assume this is the pale bride she's writing to. Yes. Okay. So she has to bear a son or else. I want to know more about the pale bride. Okay. She wrote a lot, that's interesting. So there's not a lot that goes in here. Ah, here we go. It's a whole other block that was not there before. <sighs> Having a hard time holding all of this steady in my head. was concerned that she never would. Hmm. So he wanted a Oh, is this why he adopted the other side of the family's children? Okay, so she is fantastical. She is a fairy tale creature. Okay. All right. Fairy time of great prosperity. My daughter to provide. 
I think of her. That's why there's no known birth date for her. Time. Look at all of those years. That's 600. That's 622 years. So is she gonna have gone crazy? Huh. Huh. Wow, that's really interesting. What do you have to say about this? I have absolutely no idea whatsoever um, how she determines what's valuable or not valuable, so I'm just completely disregarding her concept of what's valuable or not. <laughs> It was like, we don't have to like him to find his story significant. Ah, here we go. Oh no! Huh. Oh dear, okay. Poor kid. Yeah, so apparently there was some better time. Um, and then there was some sort of apocalyptic occurrence, presumably, after which um, people lost some of. Okay. What have you got to say about her? She, cause she sounds more contemporary for us, you know, <laughs> insufferable child. Ah. The most insufferable person I've ever met. Mm. Mm. Hey Altex, yes, we're playing analog. She's in trouble so often, one would think she were a boy, because she's from a period of time, presumably, when women had more freedom. Hey, Sophism! Yeah, I, um... You know, at this point, I'm trying to solve a mystery. I have no idea why I'm trying to solve the mystery, who I am, or necessarily why I should care about the mystery. Um, but I'm digging in and doing my best. Um, there's, there's definitely, it's definitely designed to be unraveled. Um, and there's a lot of really interesting cultural stuff going on because it is a, a different cultural background than mine, um, and the game is kind of calling me on my assumptions. <laughs> um, but it's interesting. Uh, I imagine we'll get a sense for what's happened. Um, I will say, I, I'm, so, so I'm going to go ahead and, and take a moment here to compare this to Tacoma, which was a mystery semi-visual novel except with like 3D interactive walking around doing stuff to find the pieces. Because this and Tacoma are actually extremely similar in that you get a certain amount of information um, and then you have to dig deeper in certain places to get access to more information. 
with the the assumption that you're going to click on all of the I want more information things. Which is what I'm doing, asking her to please tell me more. Although the fact that she took away one of the things that I read makes me feel like perhaps um, it is not good to always click on her, but I don't know. Um, but so Tacoma, you don't really know who you are or exactly what you're doing or what you're connected to or what went down and so you're kind of trying to puzzle out like this. What happened? Where did everyone go? Is everyone dead? In this case, yes, everyone is dead in this game. Um, so what Tacoma does to pull you in um, is it immediately gives you very, very real, very, very approachable, understandable, sympathetic people. Um, and you have the advantage of like their literal voices that you can hear. Um, they have faces that you can look up. Um, and uh, they are designed to be really, really, really like modern day human relatable. Um, and so even when you're not quite sure what the conflict is, um, you're invested in the characters emotionally because uh, they are presented as people that you get to know and care about. Um, they did a very good job of giving you characters who are all very sympathetic and have personal conflicts that immediately grip at you. Like, you're like, oh, wow, I feel for you because of this. And so that really um, makes it um, uh, easy to connect with. Now, this is interesting because um, it kind of has... Uh, history fairy tale, like either history or fairy tale, maybe somewhere in the middle feeling. So there's a feeling of disconnect between you and these people, even though you're reading their words. Um, there's a, a filter between their thoughts and, and, and you, like they filter what they say even before they put it in their diary in a way that um, I feel like the, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I hope you guys will forgive me for this tangent, but I think that this is um, a really interesting opportunity to look at different forms of storytelling and how we engage with different, like similar forms of storytelling, like where the forms are similar, but the storytelling itself is very different and how, how we engage with that differently. Because I'm not emotionally invested in this whatsoever. I have no interest in any of these characters on an emotional level, um, but I feel like I am reading an interesting story about interesting historical figures and so it's like oh no this doesn't feel like I'm reading a stranger's blog entries reading a stranger's blog entries is what I felt like with Tacoma when I was reading people's um, inner thoughts and stuff because there's a kind of a confessional approach to writing and communicating your thoughts that in Western society today and I I cannot extrapolate beyond Western society today but because I know that there's a little bit more um, emphasis on, on, on maintaining your face in some other cultures um, but especially in American focused Western culture um, there's a there's a certain and confessional approach to how you talk about your feelings. I mean, I'm like the extreme example of this. Like, I'm like a let's player, but so many of my let's plays are just like me, like crying about my feelings in a really, really emotionally open um, and exposed sort of way. And there is still some some sort of filter that I put on myself before you guys see me. Like that is that is true, even with somebody as open as I am. Like there is a bit of a filter, but the degree to which um, the, that filter exists is very different. Um, and so in Tacoma, there isn't that much filter. Because for one thing, you're witnessing interpersonal conversations that were not meant to be consumed by somebody else. So nobody, within the context of the world, nobody put thought into what they were going to say before they said it sometimes. Um, and there are exceptions to that. Um, but and also those are people being emotionally open whereas as is made apparent by the descriptions of some of the conversations between these characters even between a married couple there is still that sense of distance there is still a filter and culturally um, as I understand it from having read historical documents from more Eastern cultures which were a little stricter in that regard and by a little I think I mean a lot um, there's a you don't you they don't show their soul <laughs> that's not what they're doing they're not bleeding on the page they're very like this like I, I, just, I have to wonder like you know do, do you ever pour your feelings out so what's interesting to me actually that I think about it is that the humans like I said the humans write like these kind of historical formal 
voices, but the artificial intelligences and the pale bride all speak in a more conversational, contemporary tone of voice. Um, so I'm kind of wondering whether we had an apocalyptic disaster at some point that um, then our fallback was some sort of ancient historical, like, like the fact that we're measuring years in hundreds instead of thousands makes me feel like perhaps there's a catastrophic incident and like, you know, 300 years later, like we have to have the, the old texts of the long ago before times. And that is how we have constructed our society and how we speak and how we, and that's why that all seems so old fashioned. Whereas the AIs perhaps come from prior to the apocalypse which may not be an apocalypse, I don't know, but that's that's my theory right now. We're rolling with it. Um, and the prince, the the, the, um, the pale bride, um, she also seems to be pre-historical or pre-apocalyptic, and she also talks like somebody from from our time. Um, so that's kind of where I'm rolling with. Yeah, a societal reboot of sorts, I suppose. And I think it'd be kind of like if, if um, Western society rebooted and all we had was... God, I actually have to think really hard because a lot of what we think of as classic literature is actually extremely raw and dirty. <laughs> and like, so if you look at like Chaucer or Shakespeare, like that is not proper. <laughs> I like the Greeks. <laughs> it's a very different, I mean, like, like, for example, if you read the Odyssey, you don't, um, get deep into, um, the character's psychology the same way that if it were a contemporary novel. Uh, but the, uh, the Odyssey itself is also very, um, there's, there's like, there's feeling and dirt and grit and not as much presentation because I guess historically, culturally for thousands of years, there have been some substantial differences that I hadn't super reflected on right now. Um, but something that, for example, had the, actually, I would say the Victorian era is probably the closest that we had to this. Yeah, no, Chaucer, right? It's funny when people are like, oh, I can't get into Chaucer because the everything was so stuffy back then. I'm like, have you read The Miller's Tale? <laughs> because that is a summer gross-out comedy movie in the making. <laughs> like, when I read The Miller's Tale and I was in high school, I was horrified. I was like, if I wanted to watch a summer gross-out comedy movie, I would. But I don't like that because I have sophistication and class. <laughs> Thanks, Blues, for subscribing, for uh, for for donating this game, and for tolerating my like. <laughs> Austin. Okay, Sophism. That's a good. That's a good one, actually. That's a good comparison. Um, yeah. See, Sadback, because I don't like gross-out comedy. The Miller's Tale. I was like, huh. but like, if you like comedy, especially if you like gross-out comedy, like, like, look at um. The Miller's Tale and tell me that you couldn't see like oh, what's his name? There's like this whole like slew of comic actors that would totally have been in the movie of that, you know? Um so Yeah, anytime anyone's like, ah, oh, back in the day they were all so stilted and stiff, and I'm like, dude, do you have any idea how many <laughs> How many, like, how much phallic graffiti there is and your mama jokes in Pompeii? Like, humans have always been humans. Um, so, but yeah, so, so let's talk about Jane Austen then. Jane Austen, there's an example um, that era, the Regency era, um, in which, actually, that's actually a very, very good comparison to, I think, the time period that we're dealing with, or the the, the cultural construct um, of post-apocalyptic, um, uh, I guess this this, this post-apocalyptic Korean culture, where um, in the Regency era, there's very strict gender roles, um, there's very, like, rigid understanding of where you're supposed to be. The idea that you can be noble and of noble blood and important, but also poor, and these two things can coexist, which is very strange seeming within the context of America's so-called, um, what is it, 
the idea that you that we don't have rigid class structures. So if you're doing well, then you're doing well, and if you're not doing well, you're not doing well. And like, there's that social mobility that supposedly you have in America. Um, so so yes, yeah, so I will think about this. I will try to put this because because I do not know enough about historical Korean culture. It is a little hard to wrap my head around that on top of the mystery and the post-apocalyptic um, nature of the story and stuff. So I will, <laughs> yes, that's right, blue glass. Um, I will try to check myself and, and put this through the filter of my understanding, which is like that Regency era England is a little closer to my understanding of the world because there's still some historical and cultural overlap there. Um, that might make it a little easier for me to follow. So I'll do that. <laughs> but if we were to have an apocalypse and Jane Austen novels were the only thing we had, there would be a very specific way that everyone would speak and we would have this this culture of classes and things like that. No, but but blues it is it is important to understand um, to really kind of settle into what's going on. Um, so yeah, that tangent, I think I might have piled 20 minutes worth of tangents in there. <laughs> I'm Lauren, that's what I do. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Hmm. She lived her first 12 years in the past. So now she will be of marriageable age at age 12. Huh. Interesting sophism. That is something that I'd be interested in studying because um, people tend to say that, for example, these rigid gender roles or, or um, uh, rigid concepts of gender and so on, um, that those are, are based in nature and, and that, uh, that therefore all cultures have them and that's not actually necessarily true um so yeah so the doctor has examined her but their doctors perhaps are not capable of seeing what's wrong with her delicate and beautiful I wonder what is wrong with her that makes her so pale. But yeah, like this this is so old fashioned and archaic in its writing, which is really interesting. We don't in English have formal and informal as like official categories of writing, but there are really strong feelings of, of, of relative formality. Um, and that's why like this right here, she speaks very informally. Oh no! I have to make a decision, guys. I don't know anything about her mom. Can I wreck my understanding of things or my enjoyment of the game if I pick the wrong answer? Yes, she is an AI. This one. That's why she's got an asterisk. Maybe I can ask her for the other half. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Let us read more about her. Okay. Okay. Can we also... Oh, okay. Please explain why. <laughs> uh. mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna go like full feminist all the way through this.
Okay, so you're gonna be yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, cause see, you notice how she says "dear diary," "dearest mother," "dear diary." Like that doesn't that sound contemporary? Yeah, the family tree we're gonna be referencing a lot. So we've already been doing so. Stay in the home all day. How much the ship has changed since I was put into stasis? Okay, so we were on the ship prior to the apocalypse. I wonder if the pale bride decides she's had enough and just like blows them all up. All right, not animal tested, go right ahead. Is this something we should be excited with you about? Compromised immune system. Oh dear. Yeah, so this girl sounds like she's a contemporary modern girl with the expectation of what her role could be. Oh, well, congratulations, not an animal test. I hope that you have lots of fun. That sounds exciting. I don't know who that is, but it sounds exciting. Ah, <laughs> uh, women's quarters. Oh, dear. Ah, okay, we've got a bunch of the pale bride. For the first time, it was my own fault. <laughs> I haven't seen Nanette, but I've heard good things about it, so perhaps I will have to watch it at some point so that I can understand the good things people have been saying. The AI described the Pale Bride as quiet and demure and said, I don't know what you, well, I don't know why you think that there are problems. She's amazing and perfect in every way. So. <laughs> Someone might not be telling the truth. I actually wonder whether the Pale Bride and the AI get along. If the AI are kind of like uncomfortable with the patriarchal society that they are in and they have the more contemporary way of speaking, but maybe the Pale Bride <laughs> clicked with them. Doesn't have all the cartoons I brought from Earth or any of my books or anything. Yeah, see, so here we're tying it into our contemporary world. Hmm. Symbols that look like Chinese characters. Something terrible happened in the past. All computer data got deleted. They also they got really stupid about things. Yeah, well, she's, the thing is that sophism, she's using terms to refer to them, sister-in-law and father, um, so well, I guess that's like the, the name that she has to refer to them. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, like a contemporary girl of like 12 years old who has an, like a... Like a, an autoimmune disorder or some or compromised immune system or something like that, uh, waking up into this, like she would not be a particularly obedient child <laughs> by these standards. A big question in mind, right? I assume this is going to be what happened that changed everything. Yes, that is right. That is exactly the question that was on my mind. Yes, it is the obvious question. Mysteries forever lost the time. Pretty <laughs> anticlimactic. Why did you put it like that? Yeah, before the year one, okay. Alright. 
it. So this is one of those moments <coughs> of irony because we because the way that this is phrased makes me fairly confident that there is going to be somebody who will know that we will find it will not be a mystery forever because it's a specific phrasing of this I mean it's also possible that you just never get to know that but I don't believe it did I not I thought I did Yes, we'll find out for sure. That's kind of what, I, what I'm getting. Oh, I love how Axel, is that the zip, like, give you, are you zipping your lips? That's pretty great. Okay, so if I've already done it, then it's uh, black and white. Okay. Just let you keep reading. Straight to hell, oh man. Let's move the hell bright again. Yeah, okay, hold on, what year are we on here? Okay, so we're a few months into 319. Still 319, okay. I think I just died and went straight to hell. Ah, so she did write tons. All things I used to be able to do. Read books, have friends, go to school, leave the home, and go visit the plaza or anywhere else. Yes, be, be respectful, but also strong. She's gonna blow them all up. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Look, uh, Hyun A, if you don't interrupt me, I will interrupt me. So let's just go ahead and get the interruption over with. <laughs> oh, cool. United Korean Space Probe Agency. How do you know about that? Sure, let's go with yes. Am I gonna mess things up if I answer this question? I don't wanna mess things up. But I want to answer this question. Okay, I'm assuming that I know about Earth. Oh, man. Yeah, I have to think about. Like, okay, so in Tacoma, spoiler, you are playing as a person, a character with a name and a face and a role in the world. And so as you are figuring out what happened on the space station, you also are kind of piecing together who you are and what you're doing on the space station. And it's pretty great. Um, but yeah, if I am playing as a cardboard cutout character here, then I have to figure out what I want to do. I actually don't like playing as characters in console games or video games. I only like role playing as characters in tabletop games. But that's okay. Um uh, yes, I'm from Earth. Yay! She's 
just get these details. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, so the Pale Bride spent a lot of time talking to the AIs, I imagine. Okay, second generation. Okay. Technically, that's first generation, right? She's technically the first generation born on the ship. That used to confuse me so much when I was a kid, when people would talk about being first generation. But they were born, like, if they were a first generation American, they were born in America. But it actually makes sense, they're the first generation that was born here. Um, so, yeah. So. Books and movies. <laughs> oh man, she's gonna figure out how to do this. Hundred light years away. Am I creating reality? Am I shaping reality? Can I be trusted with this much power? I don't know that I can. Because Sophism, her parents brought that stuff, they said. So, all right, so let's see. I am going to choose to believe, it's okay, Sophism, I read fast. Um, let's go with optimism. Although they might also have blown each other up. Yeah, there are other planets. aren't just metaphors. <laughs> Isn't just something that happened to you emotionally? Yes, <laughs> that's obviously impossible. <laughs> yeah, no, it is interesting how she like knows all of the stuff that the, the pale bride said. Ah, yes. Bottom deck. Oh, you know, I hadn't thought about that because we can't say words, so she has to provide the answers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I will take you there. Yes. Am I flirting with the AI? Am I gonna get an AI, AI girlfriend? Yes, I'm gonna take you there. You're gonna be my my, my AI friend, at the very least. So when she just wants to ramble about something is when this starts flickering. Compromised immune system. So that's not good for the Pale Bride. Oh no! Yeah, her dialogue box did seem to disappear for a sec, and I don't did not see what she was saying. So I guess she changed her mind about what she was saying. I'm assuming that it was intentional, but I did not see it, because I was busy looking at the camera significantly. Yeah. So. This next one's gonna be hard. This is gonna be where the Pale Bride finds out that she's about to be married. Which is not going to go over well with a child who's not even a teenager. Yes! Cosplay, yeah. Okay, that sounds about right, blue glass. Yeah, 
Well, she's talking about being romantic, so I think I'm, I think, I think I'm gonna get an AI girlfriend. Okay. And of course, the pale bride is better at talking to, like, she talks to the servants more, uh, like a, like a peer because she's from a more contemporary culture. going to be so happy to hear who it is. That's the thing is like, like, yes, um, that would be very, very wonderful in the context of being from this culture, but it's not so exciting if you're a 12 year old girl from modern life. Mm, temper and really to be mistaken for a boys. Another less civilized time. chat all you want. Hopefully we won't all blow up because I took too long talking to you. <laughs> Most people do have ulterior motives. Mm. It's tragic. I can actually relate very strongly to her. Yeah. Pops me back. Oh, there's another one. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hunger strike. Stupid name they all keep calling me. Can't call. Okay, so show pop me back to the other one because this goes in between those other messages. So. certainly is interesting. I, I can't say I, uh, I, I called that.
I'm interested in people. Yes, actually, that's why I that's why I wanted to make sure that I was gonna be able to talk to whoever the AI was before. Like, I didn't even try admin passwords. I just because I suppose you could just put in the name because that's presumably the admin password. Um, but I was like, no, I gotta talk to this AI. Yeah, it does explain the way she talks then, but the other AI talked like her too. Alright, we're gonna read some more of this stuff. Alright, folks? There's more stuff to be read. Still missing some. So the new air. Okay. It was adopted. Hmm. Oh, oh no, this is the wife that we got to like. Or that I got to like. So when she was being scornful of this girl for being proud of herself for reading and doing math and stuff. She's actually just kind of expressing her frustration with the society. Oh, I see he hates math. Hmm. Kneeling right outside the door. <laughs> ah, interesting. Interesting. So he does not seem to be romantically or sexually interested in her. Oh, he's focused entirely on his studies. I bet this is a lie. I bet this this final month was without event. What else happened to that? Oh man, Ella found I, there's a little toy that I put treats in. She has discovered she's gonna roll it around and try to get the treats. Okay, yeah, so. Hold on. Hey, Serious Inc. without incident. All right, the new girl. Hmm, 13 year old girl who's been kept inside a giant egg through some sort of magical technology over the generations. She seems nice enough. Ah, okay. Offer her as a concubine to the emperor. If he didn't tell somebody of his plan, then of course there's no way of knowing that the contingency isn't necessary. Well, he's kind of a dummy. With any friendship. 
Ah, okay. Okay, got it. Yes, the father is an idiot. That is clear. Okay, so it looks like the first wife was not horrible, but again, the uh, girl here is a child. Okay. Star, unread messages. So I guess we could use the override terminal. Hmm. Yes. Decrypt block three. We're gonna do this. Shall we do that? Detected. Data corruption in AI core has been detected. Try recovering now. Because she said I had to become a super user and then I could do... What was the thing that she told me to type? Decrypt... Something 3? Block 3. Alright, I am going to try to recover her. No, but what if... I feel like half the time when things try to recover, they just make it worse. Yeah. So we're gonna not do that. I don't want to change her. Didn't I have an option to talk to her? What was what was the other option? What was the option that I had used? Am I doing this wrong? Ah, okay. Let's talk to her about this. I don't want to do this. seem to work. <sighs> Thank you for the suggestion, folks. But it does not appear to work. It does not appear to matter. This is not good. I don't want... And of course, she says she really wants that information. And she's, like, kind of miserably sad and lonely and stuff. So in a way... I'm not cool with this. But she has asked me to get this information. <sighs> right. So what are my other options? I 
I could totally take her with me. Couldn't, isn't that what that means? Oh, can we save and load? Can I do that? Ah, objective card. Download. Okay, so historical society. I need to explain what happened to the ship. If possible, speak to the security AI mute for assistance. Am I able to load saves and try again, or is this game going to penalize me for that? Because, like... Alright, so let's do that. I mean, she won't get the thing that she wants. We also won't run the risk of destroying her. I don't like this. This is the interactivity part of the thing. I don't know if Blues is present to answer that question or if Blues had to step away. Can I... If I do a thing and I don't like what happens, can I, can I load my save? <laughs> is that allowed? <laughs> is, that, is that within the rules? Or is it gonna is it gonna penalize me or say no? You're stuck with the choice that you made. All right, folks, we're gonna do this. You ready? I feel like this is the only way. We're not gonna get the information she wants. And she wants that information. I don't know if don't is downloading copying. Okay, so this then gets to the question of one of my favorite science fiction short stories that um, I got to have the writer of that as my mentor for the thesis in graduate school. Um, yeah, I assumed it was cut paste as well. Um, Cause it says it downloads the files and any currently active AI personality. Let's see what happens. This may not be the right decision. I'm gonna try it. Ten! Folks, they saw through my plan. Okay. I literally can't do anything else. Let it be known that I tried really hard not to do this. This isn't going to be good. 32 damaged sectors. Yes. This is going to be sad. Oh, hey, Mute is there. All right, so what was it that we needed to do? Um, uh, not reconfigure. She wanted me to do block three. What was it? Something block three. What was the verb? Decrypt. Block three. Okay. Shall we put her back in? And see how bad it is. Maybe it's fine. And it was just separating her from mute. Well, this is my official instructions are to talk to mute. Oh. Oops. 
No, I think a mute's a different person. This is way too much. Yeah. Because I remember noticing that mute also talks in a, like, more contemporary voice. Power usage is at 99. No, it's okay, Sophism. Do not ever disable the main computer. Artificial gravity for all habitable decks. Oh, I should probably... I can disable that. If there's nobody alive, <laughs> then I don't need that. Alright. I have way too many options. This is overwhelming. This might be the part where, like, normally I would be like, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I think I want to... I think I want to... Talk to her. I want to, I, like, I, I want to know what this is, and I want her to be able to access Sector 3, or Block 3. So let's see just how bad it is. Let's see just how bad the change to her personality is, if that is true. seems to still be herself, so that's good. <laughs> oh dear, sweat drop. This is dramatic. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm interested in care. She seems to be...
Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Not quite as bad as mine was. That is not good. Ah, okay. sure about that either, Sophism. I've been trying to figure that out. Two years, two years, I was excited. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. I mean, that's not great, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, school girl librarian is a weird choice. Um, she and the, she seems like she wants to change to something else here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wanted to change into something else. I was like, I will encourage you. Sure. <laughs> Please tell me that this is tongue in cheek. flirtation like jokingly flirting with the AI and talking to the AI and developing a relationship with the AI I am not really interested in I mean I'm not interested in dating sims very much to begin with but I'm super uncomfortable with a uh, servant role dating sims where you can dress the character up and she's responsive to your whims. And now, um, Yoon A is a, is a pretty assertive and independent young woman, which I appreciate about her, and uh, I respect that. Um, but, like, if she's like, I want to show you my cool costumes, but I can't do it without you typing that thing, okay, that's fine. I just really don't want this game to turn into robot waifu. <laughs> I stopped playing um, Valhalla <laughs> for very good reasons. <laughs> and I'm not particularly interested in uh, that kind of experience. I'm not trying to please you or anything. Because I like you, that was what I was starting to say there. Sure. Well, that's good. Because, like, there's... If this game existed in a vacuum, and it was just, here is this girl who lost her adolescence to being forced to be the wife to a grown man, and presumably that was a really terrible experience, and then has been alone for hundreds of years um, as an AI. Um, and she's this this interesting spunky character that you get to know, um, and she's 
got something of a small romantic streak and so like the character that you play and the character that she is like she gets interested in you whatever if this existed in a vacuum and it was just the experience of these characters in this one story i would be fine with that um it is the tropes that exist in the real world and the fact that this doesn't exist in a vacuum that makes me uncomfortable and again like it's her being like this young schoolgirl who exists to help you <laughs> that makes it worse so I'm not gonna lie I'm actually rather uncomfortable with that addition in this game um, and it could be that it's just kind of like a cute little thing and it exists as though it is in the vacuum and it's not going to do any of the really uncomfortable trips that I'm afraid of but it's also really weird that that comes out right here when we're talking about f like forced marriages and people being unhappy in their forced marriages. And like if it was like we're talking about these uncomfortable forced marriages and these bad experiences and she's like, hey, I want to open up to you because I can open up to you because this is different than that terrible experience that I had, which for all I know has violence in it. I have no reason to believe it otherwise. Um, well, within the perspective of the character, she clearly wants to show the character. She wants to show me these cool things that she'd be. But I'm not talking about this from the perspective of the character. I'm talking about this from the perspective of the person who made it, who made the conscious decision to think that this was an appropriate thing to do at this point in the story. <laughs> and that is what I'm potentially objecting to, because it seems in really poor taste to put potential fetishization stuff when we're discussing forced marriages. <laughs> um, so... Let's see. Shangmi, okay. Ah, this is when they were talking about, oh, you can't possibly come to our house. No, that's a different person. Mm. <laughs> Chaz is actually mine. Oh dear. This happens, though. This is definitely a thing with historical. Is that so, Nick? Because that would be slightly better. Um. <laughs> mm. Mm. High Magistrate Sith Smith. Oh! Oh, this is the High Magistrate that gave his position to the other guy. Yes, no, it does not seem like he'll keep his pants on. <laughs> I mean, honestly, given what he could be, it could be worse. Although I understand that, um, uh, culturally speaking, that could screw over everybody, so. That's from that perspective, he's pretty awful. Oh dear. I 
have not, Micah. We were talking about that on Discord recently. Well, today, actually. <clears throat> this is the only game by this creator that I have played. I mute. Excellent. Okay. A proper damn gentleman. So mute is going to be more informal. run by a woman. Is that an indication that it's a brothel? So this is like actually informal because I guess this is a recorded conversation instead of something that's written. So it's how people actually speak instead of how they choose to have themselves be recorded. ourselves.
So that's the one that we hadn't read. All right, let's see what she has to say about this. All right, I'm having a bit of a hard time keeping track of them. There's a lot of different people. She didn't delete the mention of Mute. Here's Mute still here. And they did, in fact, imply that he was bi. In fact, they... Uh, I don't think it might have gone more than implication. Okay. The usual shocking cross manner of hers. <laughs> yeah. So the AI is contemporary for us. Oh, it backspace he was friends with mute. Oh, I didn't even notice that that got backspaced. <laughs> mother for me though brothers. These three are brothers. And this one only had... <gasps> hmm. One child. Who had one child? No, 
I want a little more. Yes. So, Sojan married Sangmin. So, she didn't know. So, this is this. This is the one who drank himself to death. Got it. He did not get married. So here's Sangmin is apologizing to his uncle. So he's the one who sleeps around. Sangmin sleeps around. Yeah, no. So he's presumably drunk when he's responding with unbelievable volume. And she doesn't know how to tell that he's drunk. <laughs> Poor girl. Well, though they all talk about him drinking himself to death, nobody's talked about him being killed. So this is, the, is this the respectable, hang on. Helpful notes, oh there's more helpful notes. I showed them all to her, but let's cycle through till we find one that's blue. Ah, here we go. Ah, okay. Self to death as a cover up. Okay, so here we've got some of the. These characters now I know more about who they are. sleep with his wife but slept with everyone else. Okay. The dim-witted brute was not mourning. Ah, here we go. Natural causes. Oh, here they're saying no, he drank himself to death. And then this is the wife. <laughs> uh, being distracted by his, uh, his lady on the side. sense now that I know who she is and what her context is. The main branch family. Ah. So 
So this is him writing about his his son who lived to be 18. Here's the world so that's going to end here. Sangmin. That's the older brother, the womanizer. Got sacked. Temporary leave. Ah. Okay, presumably he slept with someone he shouldn't have. what happened to so yeah so this whole thing is about the pale bride so here's the kims Curiosity, I would like to see her ridiculous outfits and see what she That's really great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Redeemed. <laughs> oh my gosh. obligated at this point to try on the rest of her outfits just because she's so excited about it as long as it doesn't <laughs> get creepy yeah that's what I'm feeling sophism too um, the fact that this schoolgirl is her default one oh the pale bride's headlock. okay yeah let's do this So it's just to say, oh, she's cute. Oh, she doesn't like this one. Oh. No. No. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It was just there. When I died. Yeah. I saw that one. I saw that one. That is a no-go. Okay, well that's alright. Don't you worry.
Okay. I oops. <laughs> My IRC days reveal themselves. I think that's someone I really like, okay. Credit. Being a computer program is computer science. You're doing computer science. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, this is the one that she wants. Like, she, ha it's clear that, like, see, I thought that she, I was like, okay, she's playing being in the detective. Um, or being the detective outfit, so she'll be playing at all of them. But then she had an emotional response to the half hour, and I was like, that's not so cool. But then when she, we dressed up as the scientist, she's like, this is what I want to be. So that's what she's going to be. She's going to dress up as the scientist, because that one is important to her. So we will leave her in that one. We are not going to put her in the maid outfit, because I object to that. Um, <laughs> I guess we're going to have to... Uh, Shall we meet Mute? Oh, I guess that's a good point. We sh should save. There we go. 29% unlocked. Okay. Let's see Mute. Oh no! She's a cat girl. Is she going to be a Sundere cat girl? I feel like she is designed I mean it, it is possible that this is a headpiece design that is common and traditional um, but I believe it was chosen to resemble cat girl ears that's right Tara um, this game is very um, uh, it's it's uh, far future uh, when the culture in it is of Korean origin so there are a lot of Korean names that I'm doing my best to pronounce. <laughs> um. I told you she blew the whole thing up! No, she wasn't awake when the guy drank himself to death. But she killed all of the rest of them. Or at least some of them. I called it before we knew that it was her. She's got stars going in the background. I don't recall... Um, uh, uh, Hyun A having the stars going by. So she won't have made friends with very many women because women weren't permitted. <laughs> I always got the impression the ship was supposed to be founding one, but instead we had lots of drama and then all died. 
Yes, there are colonies. I'm from Earth. Yeah, see, she's still talking in an extremely contemporary way. within um, her culture, those are really important questions. <laughs> yeah. Well, because she's not used to treating, like, she's not used to women being, like, competent, powerful uh, beings with their own agency. <laughs> yeah, mass murder. actually friends with the Smiths. Honestly, they were jerks. <laughs> she was friends with them. Great nun. But again, I guess for her, because they were of a noble family. They were great men by default, which is really very hard for me to wrap my American mind around. I'm making things perfect. That is not, yeah, I'm gonna probably go through and see what she could say. Yeah, Hune did have admin access because she was told before her wedding, before her marriage, that her name was the password. So she could have done that. Of course, then she'd have to be in the men's chambers and access the computer, which um, she got in trouble for doing. So there would be an element of risk um, just getting to that point. But she presumably turned off the life support and killed everybody else. She killed herself too, I imagine. I imagine she just killed all the bodies that were on the ship. But interesting he had a way of making things perfect is not what like literally anyone else says. That's the See, she, like, the way her design is, she's got little fangs. She's the cat girl. Yes, absolutely. All right, is this still stream appropriate? Imagine her concept of, okay, ah! What does she have to say about the Smith family tree? <laughs> yeah, her ideas about what's gross is, that's why I'm thinking it's, it's gonna be like a cultural thing.
so there was an older sister here. Married into another family that we haven't encountered yet, I don't believe. Promised to Park family, but not formally married. Hmm. <coughs> Interesting stuff. Let's see what she thinks of this. Yep. So she's like automatically discounting like why are the women here? Yeah. I mean, I think she's not supposed to be a likable character. Oh man. Existence of this character is meant to shine any sympathy whatsoever on that kind of a mindset or make us feel what it would be like to have been raised in that society and that be the only way you know. Um, if that is the intent, the writer has failed <laughs> by making the character who we are more inclined to disagree with um, an incredibly unlikable, <laughs> judgmental bride who insults everything. <laughs> There's not really, so far, a lot of nuance. Unsent litter. Oh, Hana. We don't have a, we haven't seen Hana yet. <clears throat> Hana only has one name. Interesting. Okay. to her but I'm pretty sure she didn't start off being like antagonistic and unlikable with the uh, all of the signals of being the unlikable cat girl that sophism let's do that because um sojin was the m a more sympathetic and likable character among the cast up till this point aside <laughs> from the obvious <laughs> sad old age 26 years old she is old Ah, Hana, who is right here. Oh, actually, no. Let's let's see what she had to say. Yep. Yeah. Well, they've already established that they get married quite young. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, no, people do not seem... Well, no, the one who died in his 30s drank himself to death. Oh, man. Oh, good. Excellent. Let's ship those two together. Unsent letter from Hana. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, see, this one here lived... These ones live to be older. And nobody else got the chance to live a long time because they all got killed. I mean, here I guess we've got... Uh, what is it? Uh, <clears throat> 44 years. Like, everybody else is all killed. Ah! <laughs> yes, the mass murder does limit things a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. So having dated both men and women, <laughs> uh, it is actually really interesting um, the different amount of work that um, each that both gender tends to put. Even even fairly like progressive feminist men put the expectation of their role. <laughs> Um, less about seduction and more about, um, I mean, there are, there are major differences. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. For Susan, I'm glad that she got a romance. I don't know how badly it's gonna end, but I'm glad that she wanted. She wanted because she remember how excited and sweet and like just like joyful she was about having this romance when she was a young woman, married. So she gets to have her romance, and I'm happy for her. <laughs> Excellent. What do you have to say? <laughs> All right, mute. You don't have to approve. Oh, we're still missing one. like I don't know what you guys what you're talking about she's absolutely the perfect submissive perfection so I don't know where you got your gossip from that was mute right oh man you ladies are getting brazen Well, 
that is rather a uh, thorough description. <clears throat> Hana gonna continue to write. <laughs> Buy me out from the emperor. Okay. <laughs> you appeal to that spell. <laughs> She's really enjoying this. She really wants me to be all scornful about this. Oh man, these ladies. earlier. to gossip. She's like just so excited about telling someone how terrible all this stuff is. And I'm like I don't think it's terrible. And she's like okay well you just sit there and let me talk about how it's terrible then. Because I'm going to gossip at you.
Yep. I don't know that pitiful is quite the uh, word that I want. But... <laughs> like, it is, it is kind of strange to have these, like, the archaic sensibilities. Or, to, or you could use, like, the old version of, like, like an, an older understanding of the word pitiful as, like, like, they're, like, like, pity. There. <clears throat> yes, he should have. Yes. Yeah, there's some uncomfortable stuff implied there. like a caricature to me which I mean I guess like you know you, one, one could argue ah but she is only an artificial intelligence but the writer cho chose to write her in this way so it is unfortunately at the point where I can kind of disregard everything she says because I can just predict what it's going to be it's pretty flat It's an interesting, it's an interesting change of, um, where, whereas previously I found none of the characters sympathetic, um, but I found the, what I thought was the AI sympathetic, here I'm finding the characters sympathetic and the AI completely uninteresting and unsympathetic. So that's, that's an interesting change. not even his not even his child the other child because he did the same unspeakable things with the whore. Neither one of these answers is acceptable. So what I'm going to choose to do is, is I'm going to assume that these are, this is the language that she's using, which is to say bad or good. So we're gonna just go with the positive one. Yes. Yep. <laughs> no. 
Nope. <laughs> All right, mute. Are you gonna beat Sindere? Are you jealous, mute? Yes, I do think we've got Cinderay mode. Her mistress, I assume, would be the um the Emperor's first wife. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No, it would be the, the, there's like a head wife of the family. Heh. <laughs> yeah. So why is this one... she has to say about some of these others. Okay. I hope you guys don't mind. We're going to go through and see everything. <laughs> see, like, this is weird for her to say she was an awfully good friend of mine. We chatted a lot, but then also be like, this thing she was... Okay. So her mistress was the empress, the emperor's first wife. Okay, so she liked her. She just has issues. Well, that makes me like her a bit more as a character. Okay. Ah, so here's the conversation. I'm, I'm having to keep recontextualized. This is the one who drank himself to death, which is that's the one that she's friends with, right? drank himself to death cleaned up his family mess. I guess because he had the money? <laughs> so we're now we're trying to humanize more of these characters. Yeah, see, she's not very ladylike in the way she talks. <clears throat> hmm. Performed his function quite well. Hmm. 
It is interesting that the courtesans are owned by the emperor and rented out, I suppose. Like, that is a side, that is a political feature that I did not know. If that's historically true in any culture, I did not know that. Okay. We've got a whole bunch more. So she didn't have anything to say about that one. brother wife we like. And the younger brother, the absolute gentleman, the uh, alcoholic. This one right here, saying Q, is the one that is bad. Have we seen anything about his wife? The wife is saying Q. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you do have a shocking cross manner. that in order to be here or get that line. Okay, legendary temper. Okay, so Sangmin. The legendary temper. That's the one who is married to... Ah, uh, okay. What do you have to say about that? no reason to believe that Mute wasn't an AI. Um, she may have, prior to the apocalypse, been based on a real person. We don't know. <laughs> uh, it's not like I have the body for that kind of relationship right there. It tells me the kind of relationship that she wanted to have with him. Hmm. Yeah... No, she does not seem to have anything about her that is... Yeah. She doesn't seem to have any memory of being a human being that we have seen right now. Alright, let's see. So here's the one talking about... Dumb. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, we have yet to see, besides you tell us that he's good, we have yet to see him be clever, charming, filial, or respectful. I 
Okay. Alright. Good. You do that. Flush out these characters. Some of them could use it. Alright. Okay, you got nothing more to say. What have you got to say about the child? Mmm. Yes! Okay. <laughs> She's very subtle. <laughs> Didn't have any respect for the dead. You're like intentionally. So I guess I'm going to be switching back and forth between the AIs now that I'm going to have unlocked new things. I'm going to show those to um, our friend uh, Hyun A. Yes, that's her name. Um, ah! Okay, so this is a new letter. Letter to Sangmin from this one. Okay. Interesting, yeah, marrying. Is this what they mean by taken in by? Uh, a new dowry. They're like, give us more money and we will allow one and a half times the old one. There was a big dowry. I'm not sure that the Smiths have the money for a big dowry now. This is not going to be good. Which one is Sangmin? This is the oldest brother. Mm. She is definitely making her point here. <laughs> That's a good line. You're talking about honor. Trust me, I lived in this house for over two decades, and I've looked everywhere, even under the sitting cushion. <laughs> in by here. Taken in by younger Huang brother. Widowed. It does not say remarried to younger brother. Okay, the five years forward, here comes the fall. Sangmin. That one. The one who is married to the unfortunate wife who fortunately got a girlfriend, although that probably didn't end super well. Um, he, he did at least try to take care of his sister so she wouldn't be uh, out on the streets or dead or whatever. Alright, a month of good fortune. What do we got here? Ah, 
Uh, here we go, the Pale Bride. I mean, everyone... I do... <laughs> All these are my options! <laughs> I don't hate her, yeah, sorry. She did not tell me about the mass murder thing. Alright, I will ask her myself. <laughs> An entire block is full of questions for her. <laughs> hmm. Looks like a... She doesn't have anything else to say about this block. Sure, Blues! Ah, uh, mute questions, I see. Save? Ah. Hey, Double Ballot! Yes, I am! I'm overwriting my save. Oh, look! It shows me who it is. Okay. Yeah, I, well, I was going to just go through all of everything. We have, um, we've been going back through all the stuff with Mute, um, for the first time. So, like, we just, we just hooked Mute up after talking to, um, Hyun A as much as we could. So. Oh, the new bruise. That doesn't sound good. I like how everything here is the new this, the new this, the new this. Alright. Well. Um. I don't really like anything about Mute. <laughs> and I do think that Hune is, um, both sympathetic and, um, entertaining. So. I'm really not into snarky sundere cat girls. <laughs> and Mute is a snarky sundere cat girl who is a very flat, um, predictable mouthpiece of uh, a belief system that is not mine. <laughs> so she doesn't really have anything going for her, um, at least at this point, as far as me liking her goes. But that's okay. I'm glad that other people enjoy her as a character. <laughs> um, okay. Adopted son. Okay, so. Like, I'm beginning to kind of make some sense of this. So he married somebody. Um, what do you have to say? Oh, you know, it is possible that I'll like her. By the end, I thought that the characters from Final Fantasy X were largely archetypes that I was rolling my eyes at early on in the game, and they actually wound up being good characters. Extremely good characters in most cases. Um, I'm skeptical in this case because I'm 54% of the way through the game, or at least through the logs, um, and have yet to find Mute more than occasionally a little bit amusing. <laughs> it could happen, though. Um, okay. I really don't know about the Kim family did write about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Well, but the thing is, though, still in light that for me, that's not that's not her humor. That's reflecting the world that she lives in where if you're over 18 and unmarried that's why she's like oh what you're unmarried and you're like over 18 wow like getting married is the most important thing and you're an old lady you've missed your chance wow so yeah 
Yeah, I don't know what I'll do with the second game. I figure we'll, we'll figure it out when we get to it, so. So she didn't like this guy. That's what she's saying. Oh, I liked the wife. Hopefully she didn't lead to trouble with her math. Yeah, sophism, that would have made it easier for me. See, like, I like that the, uh, that they develop a relationship where she calls him alarmingly serious. business he won't even share with me. Oh no, he had a fight. from the Smith family came to defend something about the High Magistrate is the older brother, right? It's not the High Magistrate? Um, and so Young Siok was investigating this. And got beaten up. I wonder if that's related to the fight um, that um, they, he then apologized to his uncle. One of these two wrote to the uncle apologizing for what for the brother having gotten into a fight. I wonder if that's that one. Ah! Huh, so the commoners, uh, were, uh, they don't, uh, they don't cover their tops? Oh no, Hana, what are you doing? Oh no, Hana. No! Smith Sangman. Oh no, is she? Is she trying to get him in trouble? Oh, is that the the phrase that you two are talking about? Um, she just says that it has to do with the like with male superiority or male supremacy or something like that. So, when they say the new bribe, he thinks that the magistrate or that this person is trying to bribe him with this, this beautiful young woman. Male dominance, yes, thank you, Nick Butler. I think that is the phrase. No, 
wasn't the one who got her to shut up. That was all him. I don't like discussing it. Please don't ever ask me why. Something bad happened. Okay, so... High Magistrate Park and Yeong Seok made this guy look really bad. The whoring and the thugging. This is her mistress, after all. <laughs> that really brings back memories. I want to know about the queen. <laughs> She's excited about that. Yes, please explain the position because I'm confused. like to see the rest of the admonitions. Let's do that. Oh good, I'm glad that it lets you zoot all. This is part seven. Mm. Confidence. She's too young. That's something. some issues in the family. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who mm. had control of even the ship's movements through the stars themselves. Just that is generally what a captain does. Kind of 
can't help wondering how small the population on this ship is. No, these letters were delivered. Um, it's just the implications that the Pale Bride couldn't read them. Because they don't write in Korean. It's not really like anyone had the frame of reference to really get space travel. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, mute. his sister. never say anything such as that my husband actually arranged for there to be no noble daughters to marry out of his desire to marry me. That would, of course, be a rather bold move to accuse an emperor of such. I consider the implications of such a thing did happen. Wow. So, wow. Okay. Well, I guess he really wanted to be with his sister. Why would she even need to know? Yeah, that's what I was kind of wondering. Yeah, there are a lot of people who are not having children. Even ignoring the fact that he wanted. Yes. good deal. You never have to worry about her speaking out of turn. Yeah, see, something bad happened. What happened? 
what pushed her over the edge? I have some idea. I mean, they did mention that it was one member of the family that um, took her in. Because that one of them said, I think the w the wife said, like I was not even the one that made her not speak. Oh, is it is it blinking? Well, it seems so far. It seems to be implied before the marriage interview potentially. Right, because the message indicator is always going off with her because she's always got something to say. Um, but you know, the, the implication is that whatever made her not talk uh, occurred because of something that somebody in the family, uh, the Kim family, did. The interview in which he spoke to you and had nothing to report at all in your manner of speech. This, I mean, some of this, especially given the context, is really, really good advice. She is a gossip and a friend of the Smith Noble family. It reveals much of what they try to keep hidden. Haha. <laughs> What do you have to say about that? <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, no, the queen does seem like her heart is in the right place. <laughs> Sorry, mute. Yeah, I wondered why it felt like this was incomplete, because it definitely seemed like it came later. Nelly. Um, we'll be doing Metal Gear Solids after this game, so either next week or the week after that. Unless I'm driving the week after that. We'll see. I'm going to be moving and traveling a bit more, but it shouldn't interrupt things too much. So, thank you for coming by. Um, and I hope you enjoy if you catch up on YouTube. Yeah, withered old woman of of thirty five. I have no cause for jealousy that is any fault of hers. Hmm. 
but fear is that of resignation. That's really sweet and sad. Hmm. That is sad. There's a like a, a feeling of claustrophobia just thinking about this place. You know, thinking about this ship. There's something new in block four. Let's go check check that out. Morning dress. Ah, here is the empress. Ha. Three fifteen. Okay. As well as her trying to bait whatever she is able out of me. I mean, she is definitely a gossip. That is true. So the, that music fades away to mute being sad. <laughs> so is that why he never got married? Because he's the one who never got married, right? And it's not like he was the one that was off womanizing. He was in love with the computer. Yeah. So, uh, Blues, you're saying that we shouldn't read Newt's questions before we talk to, um, before we have, um, Sorry, Hune, I think her name is. I'm sorry, I'm bad with I'm bad with names. Save? Okay. You can read them but don't show them to mute. Like, I mean, should I should I bring um, Hune A back out? Because I want her to go over the other stuff that we just did. Like, if the questions will make it so that I can't ask Hune A about the blocks of conversation that I just dug up. Like, that's what I want to do. If Mute's questions will trigger a change, then I will go ahead and... A lot of time on our when I was younger. Okay. <laughs> I 
What do you have to say about this? Oh, I used MIRC. I always used MIRC. Ah. So she knows about those. got beaten up? No. Yeah, she's really bad at judging whether things are good or important or not. This is going to be interesting. What do you say about this? She does not understand. anything to say about this? Here's another woman in a plight because of patriarchal society. I don't understand why it gives me the option to ask her if she has nothing to say. Oh yeah, she's. I'm giving her the lab coat because she said it was special to her. It's what she wanted, so that's what she gets. I think she should have... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep doing this because if it's giving me the option... Ah, okay. she should have something. Okay. 
getting the feeling that you're not supposed to do this. Come on, you've got to have something to say about these. Oh, oh, that's sweet. Oh, that is sweet. Oh. Mm. So she's gonna say that she can't read them. No, she just doesn't even respond. I feel like there's literally nothing else for me to do. Okay, well there. Now we have two saves in the same place. I guess there's a way of doing this that's wrong. Should I have Mute out to do this or should I have her out to do this? Or should I hold off, shut down for tonight, and finish the rest of this um, next week? Because it is later, and it is more than I usually do. Um, and I do have things to do in the morning, cleaning and stuff to do. Yeah, this might be good. Good time! <sighs> To shut down. <laughs> yeah, I am back east coast. So that's why we're starting a little earlier. I'm sorry, double ball ballot, ballot. Have I asked you that before and gotten it wrong? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by, everybody. I know that this is maybe a uh, ballot. I'm not familiar with ballot, the food, but I may have to look it up. Um, yeah, thank you guys for coming by. You know, this is like a, a kind of like an unannounced, I guess this is what we're doing now thing. Um, but, uh, um, oh, <clears throat> yeah, I know. It feels like we've probably got enough. That's true. I have two saves. I can try with both AIs and see what happens. So that'll be exciting. Um, and then from the sounds of it, we may be starting Metal Gear Solid when I'm in, back in Texas, which will be in a few weeks. Yes, because my life is never stable, predictable, calm, and normal. No, I am currently, my hair is being in with my face and stuff, um, currently in a state of transition. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to put everything up on YouTube. I'm going to try to be better about putting things up on YouTube um, the morning after the stream. I haven't been the best at that. So for YouTube who's watching this, hey, you can tell whether I did that or not. Um, but yeah, no, this this has been an interesting game. I, I had some concerns about it. Um, I don't think they were entirely unfounded, but um, it has definitely turned out to be a more enjoyable experience than I feared. Um, so we will play through this. I don't know if we'll play the sequel. Um, we'll probably go straight to Metal Gear Solid after this. Um, but we'll see if I want to play the sequel perhaps after that as another palette cleanser. Um, but we'll see. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining. Let me go ahead and shut down. Quit the game. Um, thank you guys. Take care. Be good. And I will see you on Tuesday for more Wind Waker if you feel like it. Um, or next Thursday we should be able to finish the rest of this game. So good night.